All right then, so now we've created an instance of MongoDB online and we've connected to that database. Now, before we start putting data in the database, what we need to do is create a model and schema for each data type that we'll be storing inside that database. Now, I don't want you to get confused with a Mongoose schema or MongoDB schema that we're gonna create for our data that's being stored in the database and our schema, which we pass through into this thing right here for GraphQL. This schema is defining our graph and the object types on that graph. Our Mongoose schema is gonna define the data that's actually being stored in MongoDB so that MongoDB understands that data, right? It knows what to expect. So again, try not to get those two things mixed up. They're two different schemas. So what I'm gonna do first of all is right click server, create a new folder over here, and this is gonna be called models. So this will store our Mongoose models or our MongoDB models inside. And we're gonna make two files, one for a book model. So I'm gonna call this book.js and also another called author. .js for our author model, right? Because we're gonna store two different types of data. They're gonna be two different collections on MongoDB. So let us tackle the book model first of all. Now, the first thing we need to do is create a constant called mongoose and set that equal to require mongoose because we're gonna need that inside this file to create the schema and model. And then we're gonna create another constant. I'm gonna call this schema and I'm gonna set this equal to mongoose.schema. And again, if you're not sure exactly what I'm doing here and you need a refresher, I would advise you to check out my MongoDB tutorial series. The link is gonna be down below. Anyway, now we need to create our schema for the book. So let's create a constant first of all, and we'll call this book schema like so, and set it equal to a new schema. All right, so that thing right here, is this thing right here. It's mongoose.schema. So inside this schema, we need to pass through an object, and this object is gonna describe the different data types and properties we would expect on a book, right? So remember, we have a name property, which is gonna be a string, simple. Then we have a genre property, which is gonna be a string. And then finally, we also have an author ID, which is also gonna be a string. Now. We also, in this schema file, defined an ID property, right, on the books. And we also did on the authors, but we don't need to do this in this case because MongoDB or MLab is automatically gonna create a new ID for each file that we add to the database. So we don't need to worry about defining it right here in the schema. All right, so that's it, we've created that schema now. So now MongoDB is gonna know the kind of data that we're storing, right, in this particular uh, collection. Now what we need to do is export a model. So we'll say module.exports and set that equal to mongoose.model. So now we're defining a model, right, which is akin to a collection in MongoDB. And the collection name or model name is gonna be book. And we're gonna base this model on a particular schema and it's gonna be this thing right here, the book schema. So let's copy that and paste it right here. So what we're doing here is we're saying we're making a model, right? Which means a collection, if you like. A model refers to a collection in a database. So we're gonna have a collection which is gonna be books. And this collection inside the database is gonna have objects inside of it which look like this, this schema. So that's what we're doing right here. Then we're exporting that because later on, we're gonna use this model to interact with our book collection in MongoDB, right? So let us copy all of this stuff because I don't want to retype everything out and paste it inside here. These two can stay the same. We're gonna need the same for the author and we'll change book right here to author. Now the different properties inside an author is gonna be the name again, which is a string. We don't need a genre for an author, but we do need an age like so. And that is gonna be a number this time around. Not a string, a number. Okay, so that's this schema for an author. Now we want to again export a mongoose model. This one is gonna be called author and it's gonna be based on the author schema. So we're making two models here, one for the author and one for the book. 
and those models represent those two different types of collections in our MongoDB instance. So we're going to store them in different collections. We use the author model inside our code to interact with the author collection in the database, and we use the book model inside our code to interact with the book collection on MongoDB, right? So we've created both of those two different models right there. Awesome. So then now we have both of these models defined inside our schema. The first thing I want to do is get rid of all this junk. We don't need the dummy data anymore. And inside here, we can comment out all these different resolve function code because we're not going to be looking through those um, arrays anymore. We're going to be connecting to MongoDB to get that data. So let's just comment all out uh, all of that junk out and then I'm also just going to import ready the two models we just created right here so that we're ready to interact with those collections on MongoDB. So at the top right here, I'm going to say const book is equal to require. Then inside, we want to say dot dot to say go up a level, go up out of the current folder because we're currently in the schema folder. Then we want to jump into the models folder then we want to get the book file, right? Book.js. So we've got the book model now. We also want the author model, which is equal to require again. And this time we want to go up a folder again to jump out of the schema folder, then into models, then grab the author file. All right, so now we have these two models ready inside our schema file for our graph. So what we can do starting in the next tutorial is start to interact with our collections in MongoDB and add data or um, query data. So we'll start that in the very next tutorial.